Hello, Striper Roonies. We got big, big news today. Stripe just released Stripe Text. And let me tell you, it is absolutely amazing. You no more having to plug in these external tax systems to get your taxes right with Stripe. It's all supported out of the box, automatic tax collection. You put in an address and Stripe will automatically calculate the taxes for that address. It's magical. In this video, I'm going to be going through how to set it up and in a, my future videos, I'm going to be going through how to integrate it with your SaaS product. Let's get started. All right then, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the settings in your Stripe account to, so we can get tax enabled. You're going to see under here a new product called tax. You're just going to click the plus here and then you want to click get started. We're going to add our origin address now. So this is just going to be where we are based as a business. For, th for this example, I'm just going to add in my address and California. All right. And then when we click save, it's going to, that's going to be our address. Okay. And now we're going to set our default uh, tax code. So this is going to, this should be just what you sell. And this can be changed on a product by product basis. So this is just the default value. And last but not least, we're going to add in our registration. So this is where we are registered to collect tax. Um, and the this is important. Uh, if you're a European and trying to collect VAT, you should pick where you're registered in Europe. So let's say we're in Austria. And if you want to collect VAT from every European country, you want to select VAT Moss. That will make it so if somebody puts in an address in, say, France, it will automatically calculate the French VAT and collect that for you. Um, if you only do business in Austria, you can just click collecting only in Austria. So we're going to click there. We, you can schedule when you want to start collecting your taxes. And we're going to add the registration. At the bottom here, uh, you have your potential registrations. And that will look something like this. When you're doing a lot of business in other countries, you can actually see uh, your tax liabilities. So you might say, oh, we're doing a lot of business in France. Uh, we need to turn on taxes for France and it lets you know before you get into trouble with the with the tax law. So that's that's basically how you get it set up. The next step is going to be actually setting up taxes in your products and plans. So let's get into that. So next we're going to want to get our product set up. So we're going to add a new product here and go through the process of setting up taxes on it. We'll call this tax example. Uh, okay, and we'll set the tax code to SAS. Uh, you can, if you leave this blank, it'll just pick whatever you set as your default. We're going to enter a $100 a month subscription here. And the tax behavior, this is where it gets really important. You have to decide whether or not you want to charge taxes inclusively or exclusively. Inclusively means that the taxes will happen uh, will be baked into the $100 price tag. So it'll be $100 taxes will be included in that price that the end customer pays. Exclusive means that the taxes will get calculated and added on top of $100. So it'll, it'll be 20% or whatever on top of that $100 they're paying. And they'll see that in their final total of like $120 instead of just 100. Okay, and we're just gonna save that. Cool. So now that that's set up, uh, we can go ahead and start using automatic taxes. So just to show you kind of what it would look like using the Stripe dashboard, I'm just going to create a, a new subscription here. And let me just create a new customer real quick. We'll call it test at test. And we'll, we'll set this as France as their country. Um, I don't think we'd have to fill out the rest of it. So we'll add a customer here. So we're going to add this. And here's where you select the taxes using the dashboard. You can just go here, edit the tax, and oh, 
calculate the taxes automatically. This is where the magic happens. So we're going to save here. And you can see here, VAT France is an exclusive 20% tax. So our first invoice is, as expected, $120. This is really all there is to it. In my next video, I'm going to be going through how to actually create these subscriptions using code. So if you're interested in actually building this out into your own integration, check out the next video. There should be a link right there and uh, enjoy this amazing new feature. Bye-bye.